What is up guys? So when you play the first Descendant, you probably have seen Ultimate Bunny and Ultimate Glay, and you want to get your hands on them because they are really hot right now in the game. And not only for their stunning appearances, Bunny is the queen of clearing mobs right now and Glay's grenade launcher spam build is pretty good for DPS. But if you want to get them by grinding in the game and not using your wallet, then I recommend you get Enzo first because he has a passive ability that makes it a lot easier to crack open the encrypted vaults to get the material needed for researching Ultimate Bunny and Glay, as well for the material used for the crystallization catalysts and the energy activators, which are essential to make you stronger for the endgame. So in this video, I'll show you how to get Enzo the quickest way and also how encrypting vaults work with a bit on the other abilities of Enzo so you know what they do. If that sounds interesting, let's get right into it. I have a disclaimer, although I can give you the fastest way to get the needed patterns for Enzo, I can't give you a higher RNG chance. So you might get it early or it takes longer, but what I can do is give you the fastest way of getting more RNG proxies to get the needed items. We start off with the enhanced cells. For this, you need three different resources. These are going to be the monomolecular extractors, which can easily be found in the Acne Desert resource or munition boxes. You can either do this on normal or hard. They're easy to find by just walking around the areas and farm them from the boxes. The Flectorite is found in the White Knight Gulch resource and munition boxes, so go there and get them. As for the inorganic biogel, you need to defeat a elite enemy that will spawn from the Vespers outpost in the Lumberyard or the Lost Supply Depot areas. I recommend if you want to farm these, do the one in the Lost Supply Depot on hard with a successful infiltration if you can, because both patterns are used for getting the blueprints of Ultimate Bunny and Glay. So you will be farming both the materials at the same time. And if you don't know how to do a successful infiltration yet, I got a video on it, how to do them easily. So you can check that one out. For the enhanced cells blueprint, you have four ways to get it. The first one is going to be where you need to run the Slumber Valley dungeon in Kingston on normal to get pattern three which is a guarantee to drop and defeat the Grave Walker. This only gives you a 6% chance, so we're going to be skipping this way. The second way is to do the Quarantine Zone Dungeon in the Fortress Field on Normal and get Pattern 50, which always dropped after the dungeon is complete, and then defeat the Hanged Man Colossi with a 50% chance of getting it. You could do this one, it's pretty laid back, but not the fastest one, and also has a lower chance. Way 3 is going to be the fastest in getting the enhanced blueprints, where we get pattern 28 from the Acne Desert Mirage Stone Outpost, where we also infiltrate it successfully to get an additional pattern drop chance. So again, if you don't know how to do this, check out the video on it where I explain how to do them easily, and it also works on hard. After you get the pattern, you need to activate the Void Reactor in the same area and defeat the boss. To activate this reactor, you need 12 Monomer and 3 Polymer Void Shards. To easily get these, you want to do the Void Fragment mission on hard in the Agna Desert mining site, which requires electric. This will give you 14 Monomer and 1 Polymer. And to get an additional Polymer Shards, you can do the Void mission in the Lost Supply Depot area in the Vespers, to get 13 polymer out of it, but you do need fire. If you get the shards, you can activate the reactor and defeat the boss in the Agna Desert. Because it is on normal, you can probably can take this guy out on your own, and after it is down, you can shape the pattern and get the enhanced cells blueprint with a 38% chance of dropping. There's also a fourth way where you need to do a hard dungeon, but it only has a 20% drop rate, which is not worth the trouble for the blueprint. If you're curious about what the requirements are of all the ways, then you can check the description below the like button. Then we are getting the Enzo Stabilizer, which requires the following resources. The silicon is found in the Echo Swamps resource and munition boxes. The nano polymers are found in the Agna Desert resource and munition boxes. For the advanced neural circuits, you need to defeat the battle mission elite enemies in the White Knight Gulch. There is an easy way to farm these in the mountaintops border line of truth mission where it will spawn three elite enemies during the mission and it's pretty fast to do and it is easy to reset. You can get two to three of these brains for each material drop from the elite. This material is also needed to research the crystallization catalyst so this farming spot is good to know in getting them as well. 
Now for the stabilizer blueprint, we have again four ways of getting it. The first one will that we run the copper mine blockade operation in the white knight gulch to get pattern 39, which will have a chance to drop after waves 4, 8 and 10. I don't recommend doing it this way, but if you do, you want to get to wave 4 to get the pattern and if you didn't get it, abort and try again. This is probably the fastest way of getting pattern 39. Once you have it, you can then defeat the uh, Pyromaniac Colossi to shape the pattern with a 38% chance of getting the blueprint. The second way is to do the Heart of the Fortress dungeon to get pattern 51, but here it only has a 6% chance of dropping the blueprint, so skip this one. The third way is to do a Heart Mode outpost in the Echo Swamps, Musky Swamps, get pattern 81, which only drops after a successful infiltration, but gives you a 32% chance of getting the blueprint, but it is not worth the hassle. Because the fourth way requires you to do a normal outpost to get pattern 40, which is way easier and has a 38 chance of dropping the blueprint, so this is the best and fastest way of getting it. This outpost is located in the dune base in the Hagius field, so again you want to complete it with a successful infiltration to get two pattern drop proxies, and once you get the pattern, you need to go to the Void Reactor in the same area and defeat the elite enemies. This reactor requires 11 organic and 4 monomer shards. To get these shards easily, you can do the Void mission in the same area on hard, which results in 12 organic and 3 monomer shards. And if you want some extra monomer shards, you can go back to the Void mission in the mining site on the Agna Desert from before to get 14 monomer shards. Once you get the shards, you can activate the reactor and defeat the spawned elites, so you can shape the pattern for the stabilizer blueprint. For the spiral catalyst, we need the following resources. The semi-permanent plasma is found in the Vespers resource and munition boxes. The keramic composite is found in the White Knight Gulch resource and munition boxes. For the positive ion particle, you need to defeat an elite enemy that spawns within the Acne Desert battle missions. The best one to do is in the Mirage Stone area where you do the commanding ground mission. This works the same as the one before from the brains where there will be three elites spawning during this mission and they will drop this material from three to five times per drop. The Spiral Carol's blueprint has more ways of getting it to drop with a higher drop chance than the other ones. The first way is to do the block Cooper mine operation in these three lands to get pattern 11, which has a chance to drop in waves 2, 6, and 10. The waves are pretty fast on this one, so you can get the pattern fast. I recommend you do it up to wave 6 to get it. If not, you can abort and try again. Once you got the pattern, defeat the stunning beauty colossi to shape the blueprint, which has a 38% chance of dropping. The second way is to do the Bio Lab Dungeon on normal in the White Knight Gulch to get pattern 37 and defeat the Pyromaniac after to get the pattern to shape into the blueprint, which has a 38% drop chance. The third way is to do the Outpost in the Echo Swamps direct covered area to get pattern 21, so you want to do a successful infiltration to get an additional pattern drop procs while doing this one and once you get the pattern you can do the fusion reactor in the same area and defeat the boss. To have this one activated you need 13 inorganic and 2 organic shards which can be farmed for the exact amount on the fragment mission in the same area on hard but you do need toxic for this one to get the shards. Once you get the shards activate the reactor and defeat the boss to shape the pattern to get the blueprint which has a 38% chance of dropping. There is a fourth way, but it requires you to farm a hard outpost, which is not worth the trouble for a 10% drop chance on the blueprint. So after you have all of these items, you want to research them as fast as possible to get the core materials, because it does take 8 hours to get them researched. While they are researching, you can now farm for the final core material, and that is the Enzo code, which does not require you to research first. To get this code, again, there are four ways of getting it. The first way is to do the defense mission in the Echo Swamps to get pattern 25, which has a chance to drop on waves 10, 18 and 21. I don't really recommend doing this one because the waves take a long time to complete. But if you do, you want to get to wave 10 to get the pattern and if it doesn't drop, you can abort and try again. 
Once you get the pattern, you can defeat the Dread Bride and shape the blueprint that has a 38% chance of dropping. The second way is another defense mission, but on the fortress field to get pattern 53. I highly recommend you skip this one because the other one is much easier with the same 38% drop chance of the blueprint. The third way is also skippable because you need to farm pattern 93 from a hard outpost which only drops from a successful infiltration, which is not worth the trouble for a 10% drop chance. So the final way is the best and that is doing the normal outpost in the White Knight Gulch hatchery area to get pattern 35. It might be a little tricky to get here but if you go from the mountain top area on the left and enter the hatchery from there you can get the mini teleport dot down below in the hatchery for easy access to farm the outpost because you might get lost in the building. So you want to infiltrate this outpost successfully to get the additional pattern drop and once you get the pattern you can drop down below to enter the building and stick to the left where you eventually reach the fusion reactor needed to shape the pattern which does require you to beat a rather bullet spongy boss. To activate this reactor you need 12 inorganic and 3 organic shards. You can farm the exact amount in the fragment mission in the shipment base in the same field to get the shards, but you do need toxic for it. Once you get the needed shards, activate the reactor so you can defeat the boss, which can be annoying because you run out of ammo. And if you do die, it can refresh the ammo, but don't die too much or you fail the fight. Once you defeat the boss, you can shape the pattern to get the coat with a 38% drop chance. Now that you have the coat and the other core materials are done researching, you can now research Enzo for 16 hours. Once that is complete, you now have an easy way of encrypting vaults so you can get endgame content easier. Enzo has a passive which lets him have an easier time encrypting vaults which also gives more rewards when being successful. The vaults will appear in random fixed locations around areas and will contain different materials and other fields. To find these vaults, you teleport to the area and then use your scanner where you want to hear a beep. Then you are heading to the right location, but if you hear a blob, you're moving away from the location. And if you hear nothing, well, there's no vault nearby, so you have to move a little bit more. Once you have found a vault, you need to do a mini game where you need to press the right button on the right moment to encrypt it. So for ultra precise vaults, you will probably need Enzo because they're really hard without him. And if you do fail those, the item is lost. And the item to activate it, which are analyzers, they are dropped from normal or breakers, they are dropped from hard by defeating enemies. So this is just better to use Enzo because he makes all the vaults a piece of cake and it gives also more material. If you have more people in the party then you can also benefit from this because the material also drops from them when they are near making it so that when you play with friends you can all benefit from each other doing the vaults. I will give you a small summary of Enzo's abilities. The uh, first ability is uh, Start Supply and this will summon a ammo box on the designated location that will give ammo to you and your allies when you walk through it. The second ability is Explosive Drone. He will launch a drone to the aimed location which will explode on impact and deal damage around it. The third ability is Enhanced Combat Suit which will summon a drone to instantly give you some shield back and then increase your shield recovery until it is gone. The fourth ability is Perfect Support. This will summon a drone for you and nearby allies to generate ammo for all types while the drone is active and it will shoot at enemies. When it is running out, the drone will shoot a more powerful beam after the duration is over. The drone to your allies will also give them more firearm attack, crit rate and reload speed. Finally, the passive will increase the round holding capacity of you and your allies who are near and this will increase per ally plus even more when there are more enzos. And the passive also boosts the encrypting vaults. But guys, that wraps up this video on how to get enzo quickly so you have an easier time getting the endgame content. Overall, enzo is a good character to pick up because of his ammo generation which is always very useful to have.
I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If it did, you can leave a like to support the video and comment down below if you have some questions about the topic. If you want more content like this one, you can subscribe to the channel. I thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.